As a parent, I'm often watching the kids play. Well, let's say interact. <laughs> Children can be wonderful teachers. They see the world before they've been educated to see it differently and become boring grown-ups. They see the fun in the simple things. They enjoy the smallest of pleasures and they have a tendency to not overthink things. They accept that, in truth, we fail our way to success. They also realize that with every failure, is something learned and that if they repeat that failure again it's either a choice or another lesson towards achievement. They have the ability to put aside feelings of embarrassment. They decide to be determined and believe that the next time they'll do what they set out to do. That's how a child learns to walk. That's how a child learns to talk, read and write. That's how a baby grows to become a rocket scientist or a world leader. That ability that ethos, that choice to never give up doesn't mean that you don't have self-doubt. It doesn't mean that you're not scared and it doesn't mean that you're not crippled with anxiety. It means that even though you feel all of those things, you choose to have faith in yourself and do it anyway. As a child, you, you may not have learned to attach an imagined outcome to your actions yet, but what would happen if you considered failure a teacher? What would happen if you accepted that you will fail often and that if you're not failing, you're most likely not trying? How would your life be different if you decided to always try just one more time and to honor and respect the struggle that comes with growth? Failure is where your vulnerability and self-doubt is hijacked by your fear and your fear can only exist in the perception of the future and all that can dissolve away if you have faith in yourself and be present in the moments of your life.